This is Small Business News with Cheyenne Malone, exclusively on ASBN.com. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the ASBN Small Business News Show, exclusively right here on ASBN.com and now streaming on Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, as well as iOS and Android mobile devices. I'm Cheyenne Malone. Thanks so much for watching and joining us for this week's top small business headlines. eBay has launched a new AI-powered tool that aims to make the listing and advertising process more convenient for sellers on its platform. Going forward, merchants in the US, UK, Germany, and Australia can produce customizable, optimized social media content using eBay's generative text feature by clicking on the Use AI Caption button when creating the listing. Once a product caption is created, users can instruct the AI to automatically post to their social media pages without any further action. To access the tool, simply navigate to the Marketing tab on your eBay account and visit the Seller Hub social page. TikTok plans to make a bigger percentage of sales on products sold through its in-app e-commerce platform and charge a $0.30 cent transaction fee starting in April. Currently, the social media giant charges a 2% commission rate on all purchases made on the TikTok shop page. However, over the next six months, the company will hike its seller fees in increments, with the final increase in July moving the rate to 8%. Although the brand also plans to dial back subsidies on select products that have allowed merchants to offer items at discounted rates, it has promised sellers it will offer lower commission rates on high-priced items or larger purchases. Small businesses created 74,000 jobs in December as pre-pandemic norms returned to the labor market in the final weeks of 2023. In total, the economy added 164,000 jobs over the month and ended the year with an annual wage of 5.4%. This all according to a joint report from the Stanford Digital Economy Lab and human relations and payroll firm ADP. December was the fourth month in a row that the labor market improved, driven by sizable demand for workers in hospitality and leisure sector. Out of all company sizes, businesses comprised of 19 or fewer employees saw the second most job growth, adding 54,000 employees alone throughout December. MasterCard is implementing a new artificial intelligence tool to provide small business owners with helpful resources and personalized advice. Partnering with Create Labs, a technology firm developing critical solutions for underserved communities, MasterCard will pilot a generative text feature that offers users from a diverse array of backgrounds, business counseling, and mentorship. The upcoming AI-powered platform will source answers from a massive library of information comprised of MasterCard's own content and resources provided by third-party media platforms, including Blavity Media Group, a digital platform serving black professionals, and Televisa Univision, the predominant Spanish language media network. The tool will receive a test run in the United States in the upcoming months, with a worldwide release planned afterwards. Well, that wraps up our show for today, but we do invite you right back here next week on ASBN.com. Remember, you can stay up to date with the most recent news and trends influencing small and medium-sized businesses by following us on TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, and X, formerly known as Twitter. And now you can watch ASBN like never before. That's right, whether you have Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, or a mobile device running on Android or iOS, you can now enjoy our engaging, in-depth interviews whenever, wherever. Simply search ASBN.com on your smart device and join the nation's top entrepreneurs as they share their secrets to success. I'm Cheyenne Malone, and on behalf of all of us right here at ASBN, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Thanks for watching Small Business News with Cheyenne Malone.